Hey guys, welcome to the quick demonstration of our flagship product, StoryPal. When you log in to your StoryPal dashboard, the first thing you'll need to do is to add a subdomain. If you plan to use your own custom domain or subdomain, you'll be able to integrate that once you're fully logged into the dashboard. I will call this directory demo and thereafter click on create. As you already know, StoryPal is powered by the new Google AMP Stories technology, which enables you to create Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook-like stories for the open web. To begin with, let's create a unique project for our stories. I'll name this My First Story, and the slug will be Demo, since we are on a demo account. After adding your project, if you have a custom or subdomain, now is the time to add it. Please note that it's not mandatory you must have your own domain in order to use StoryPal. As a premium user, you can integrate and create up to three different projects and directories. I will quickly link my demo subdomain now. When you integrate your custom domains, we host and secure it for free for you. This will be the unique URL we'll be using for our created stories. And now I will click on next. The last step is to add our IP address to your domain name server and click save. Here is where to create stories from. Your uploaded media files are housed here and your account settings here. Also, endeavor to take advantage of our training guides and email our support desk for any support questions. I'll also show you how to quickly create a shareable story bookend. Click My Stories to start creating stories. Next, I'll click to Add Story. When you click on Add Stories, there are four different story type options. You can create a story from scratch, from a website URL, be it a blog post or any content from a website, or you can create stories from RSS feeds of any websites or blogs. And lastly, is to take advantage of our already created story templates. First from Custom, where we'll try to create stories from scratch. Here is where you can add different story pages. If we want to add another page, we click to do so. On our first page, we'll add a layer with options to add content for a header, text, backgrounds, images, videos, icons, custom contents, link buttons, and embed ads from Google or create our own ads. But this ad feature is for a deluxe user. I'll add content from the header layer. Let's try to create stories from these blog posts. I'll go ahead and copy this. This will be added through our layer options section and we can always style the content as we wish. I'll quickly do that now. Adding more contents to the page. For this whole story page, we can always add our chosen background, which we can gradient background, background image, or video background. Let's add a video background. As you can see, our story is looking a lot better. We can also animate the layers. Add the animation delay duration.
Let's preview to see how our first story looks. I will quickly add the next pages. Select a vertical image background. Okay, on to our final page. Let's use our custom content editor this time. I'll select to add a video background. Let's quickly preview our story now. Cool, right? Next, we're going to save our created story. To do this, Click on the general settings to fill in our general information field and to upload our logo and portrait image as required. Our story title goes here. Next is add publisher name. And here is where you'll select your story URL. Since our newly added domain is still propagating, we're going to use stories.co which is free for all to use. For SEO purposes, you'll be required to enter a unique description here. Let's see how our newly created story will look on the web. To create another story, I'll click to add story again and this time we'll be using the website URL method. My URL for this demo will be from Vanity Fair Trending. Next, I'll copy the blog URL. Before fetching content, you can always format how you want each story layer to look like the background, and you can also add background animations. You can also select your choice font type and give an animation to the contents. I'll click to create page slides automatically. Here are the four pages that were added in seconds. Before editing them to my needs, let's preview to see how they look.
Now let's check it out again. I will save this story as well. Let's create our last story through the RSS feed method. I'll click on the RSS option, locate the website RSS feed and paste. Let's get the feed from Mashable. This is the RSS feed URL. I'll right click to copy. Like always, we can style how we want our contents to look. We'll add a call to action to each of the stories to be directed to the blog post on Mashable. Next is to click to fetch the content feeds from Mashable. When I click on Agree, it will add all the feeds automatically. But I won't do that since I would like to see the contents before fetching. Let's add one more. Now it's time for a quick preview of the feed stories. Let's go ahead and save our final story. Lastly, we'll try to add a shareable bookend to our stories. I'll title this Demo Bookend. Select where you want your stories to be shared. Let's edit and add bookends to our already created stories. We can now view the stories we just created to see how sleek they look on the web. And here is the bookend that can be shared. We have multiple ways to share our stories. First, when you click on more options here, you can duplicate stories to be used later and you can click on share to see the first share options. Your stories can be shared via email. Just enter the email address and send. Also through scannable QR code, which can be placed anywhere.
You can also get an embedded code that can be added anywhere on a website. Say I want to embed this on my WordPress post. I'll paste the code and then preview so we can see how it looks on the website. You can see how the stories look right here. Another shareable method is by adding stories as a grid. Let me quickly do that so you can see how cool this is. Select the grid style of your choice. Let's preview it again. And here's the stories on our website. And when it's clicked on it, it takes you to the full story page. Also, you can embed stories as a widget on your website. Control A, Control C, and I will add the code here as well. Let's preview to see the story widget in action. You can see how beautiful this looks. And when they click on any of the pop-ups, it redirects them to the full story page. That's it guys, and do take advantage of our well-detailed guides on how to use StoryPal. You see how easy it is to create web stories, and yes, you can add your own custom domains to have your stories on your website URL. Do click the button below now to start using StoryPal.